Welcome hoarders, they're going to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 5. And this testing Tuesday, we're going to be testing the BF Surfer, uh, which obviously is based on a Volkswagen bus. Um, I kind of wish this had the, um, like, the earlier version of the Volkswagen bus look with the uh, extra windows up above, like it had, like, an, a taller roof with extra windows and stuff, but it's, it's, it's good. Uh... It's not fast, uh, doesn't have good brakes, doesn't have good... Actually, it does have fairly good steering itself, um, just in total, the body of it prevents it from steering good. So, handling, it's odd. You can, you can do stuff, you can turn. Uh, this is a vehicle that a lot of people don't ever use online. I saw a couple people on back on PlayStation 3 that would use this, but I haven't seen anyone use it in a very long time, especially, you know, online. Um, I wanted to do the video because, to me, this is a bit of a special vehicle. Um, this specific one, I haven't had for long. I actually just maxed it out prior to recording this. Um, but I have it set up to look exactly like the one I used to own on here. Um, for those of you who don't know, the first vehicle I ever owned in this game online was the Picador. But once I bought a garage, um, I had the Picador and this. And that was basically it for a little while. Um, and I just, I love this thing for like next to no reason. Other than, I love how they look. Um, to be completely fair, I think this, as far as uh, convenience uh, to use on missions and stuff, it's slow, so that makes it real bad. But it is a four-seater, and it's one of the absolute best vehicles that you can have re in regards to... Um, I forgot I'm in passive mode. Um, in regards to using it actually in missions, because you can basically not get hit with bullets when you're doing missions with this. I'll try to give an example. Um, like, if you're doing a mission and there's people, like, over by those pallets, you just get up and bam, bam, bam. It's, you can't get hit from behind this, but you can shoot around pretty good and all that stuff, but other than speed, that's the big, big bad factor, but uh, one of the other reasons that it's good to hide behind and use for cover is because how low it is, like they can't even angle shoot you, so you're pretty safe. Um, obviously, if it doesn't have good top speed. It doesn't have good acceleration either. Um, this thing's lacking a lot in a few places. Uh, I actually don't think I ever looked to see how the engine's actually set up in this. So I kind of want to do that. Um, it's non-existent. Okay. That's interesting. Because the engine normally would be down, like, in that little flap at the bottom. That's weird. Okay. That's interesting. Um, there's not really much more to talk about this, so uh, let's head on over to the racetrack, and, or the test track, and see where we can uh, get there. I can't talk anymore. I really can. Let's go down to the test track and see what time we can get. Being 100% real with you guys, I I obviously know 
it would <laughs> it would be hard to not know that this isn't going to get a great time. Um, I just kind of wanted to mostly I wanted to get the van maxed out again, so I kind of convinced myself, well, I can put the two hundred thousand into maxing it out. Uh, and do it for a video because I was going to do it anyway. I'm just doing it earlier than I thought I was going to. I even actually said in the last video that I was planning on doing this, um, but I didn't do it then uh, because I didn't have it maxed out. But it is now, and it is slow. I think this is, I think the only vehicle that this is going to beat is going to be the half track. Actually, I wonder how quick we're going. I cannot even see it. I don't want to press X because, like, to look down, because if you do that, it'll unnecessarily swerve and that'll affect our time. So I'm not going to do that. But I know the half track only goes like a maximum of 55. Um, and this feels like it might be going about the same. I don't know. Got a lot of body roll on this. That's for sure. Has a tiny bit of understeer going around sharp returns, but it's not bad. That's the one thing about cars that don't go fast. It's hard to really make them bad. Like, uncontrollably bad, because it's... <laughs> it's going so slow you have way more reaction time slow down floor it probably couldn't even tell the difference between slowing down and flooring it but it's okay we're gonna get it um, and this is the color that I actually uh, did have my old one and everything I don't remember if I had the wheels this color I'm pretty sure I did but I, I know I had those same rims. Meow, meow. One, like, I know there's not that many, like, maybe I shouldn't say that many iconic Volkswagens, but everyone knows the bus and the Beetle. Um, I just wish there was a better version of the Beetle on here, like a regular, like a 66 Beetle car instead of the, uh, the BF injection. I don't even like that vehicle at all. I, it's just, it doesn't appeal to me. Um, and there's also another Beetle car. Um, I don't remember what it's called on here. It's like, it's pretty much a little dune buggy thing. Dun dun. Dun dun. By now, there's already cars that would have finished. That is sad. I don't know. The half track might even beat it. I mean, I'm giving it all it, it has. I'm giving her all she's got. This might be like a four minute one. Holy tentacles. I have the turbo and everything. This thing is absolutely maxed out. And it is... It's not doing very well. That is for sure. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hit probably four minutes. I don't want to hit four minutes, but uh, I don't think we will. Good, we didn't hit four minutes. Yay! Got close, though. We got three minutes, 57.207 seconds. Uh, I know that that's not a good time. That's definitely on the last page. Um, but let's still head on over the leaderboard and see where we placed. On the test track, the BF Surfer finished in 116th place with three minutes, 57.207 seconds. Um, I say this in all videos where I'm driving either a van or a station wagon. I, I didn't expect them to get a fast time, and it, like this one, it obviously didn't. The reason for that is, is because there's no, there's no vans in this game that you can really set up to be like a sleeper. 
um, kind of. I think it'd be fun if you could be able to do that, but you sadly can't. Um, so that's the fastest time that this thing, uh, this vehicle will ever get. It, you can't get it to go faster when it's already maxed out, um, which is kind of annoying, but it is, the game came out in 2013, so they can't really change that much nowadays. Um, that's something we're going to have to probably wait for the next game if they would be willing to incorporate that type of thing. Um, but let's now head on over to the drag track and see what we can get over there. Something else I forgot to mention is that this is, as far as I know, the only vehicle in the game that you cannot do a burnout with. Even if you're holding R1 and R2 and let go of R1, your wheels will not spin uh, other than just moving forward. They will not lose grip. It's like one of the slowest vehicles that I have that there's ever been in a game. Hurry up. Okay, bud, there's vehicles that would already finish by now. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Do, 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 do. Holy fuck, that's a slow ass time. 43.113 seconds. That is slow. I know that's slow. I think the half track might have actually beaten it on that one. Uh, not really sure if it did or not, so let's head on over to leaderboard and see where we placed. Again, we ended up with a pretty dreadful, terrible time. Um, on the drag track, we finished in 108th place with 43.113 seconds. I did honestly think that at one point that the uh, half track would get a faster time. But it didn't. Uh, it was actually not that much slower. Um, but it, actually, now that I say that, it is pretty slow to be a second behind on a drag track. But the vehicles aren't made to go fast. They can't go fast. Um, in real life, the uh, Volkswagen bus, as far as I remember, they only have... I think it was like 90 horsepower or something, which is much less than... Here's an example. I had a um, Scion XD, which is... It's a tiny car, and that thing came stock with, a, like I think it was like 126 horsepower. Um, and that was a small car, not a bus. It's not really a bus, but it's just a van, which vans are definitely bigger than what I had, probably three times bigger, um, with much less horsepower. Uh, but it's it's just the way this game is. It's a vehicle I wanted to test, a vehicle that meant a lot to me. Um, I probably won't use it much, but I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, like I said, the reason I wanted it was because it was one of the first vehicles I had. It wasn't the first vehicle I had. I actually plan on doing a video on my first vehicle that I had, um, probably on the last episode of this, which is not going to be anytime soon. Uh, I have a lot more vehicles to add, uh, and do videos on, and I also have, uh, I'm gonna have more because Rockstar just keeps adding more and when they add them they usually add like three or four at a time uh, so that makes me have to do longer like or more videos obviously um, and since I'm doing this right now since I'm already off topic um, I'm also going to not be testing uh, any how can I explain it any vehicles that are not purchasable or cannot be stored in your own garage, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not going to test uh, the city buses or the uh, 
the little carts that pull the uh, the luggage around and stuff like that, like at airports and stuff. I'm not going to be testing those, um, mostly because they you have to wait for them to spawn, and it would take way too long to get all that stuff done, and no one really cares about those, so I'm going to leave them out. Um, but post in the comments down below a vehicle you'd like to see me test in the next episode of Testing Tuesday. Um, just any vehicle that you think there should be, uh, please use the in-game name as well. Don't put something, like, controversial, like, uh, Camaro. If you put Camaro, that could mean, um, the Gauntlet, the Virgo, uh, like, something that the real, like, the actual car name that's in the game, like, the Vapid Dominator or something like that, which I already did, but that's just an example. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to watch one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.